Okay, so the second to last album we've got here is the Restless Dreams EP by Gravel. Restless Dreams is, I'm going to say the new EP, but we've got new in inverted commas. I mean, it only came out in the beginning of September, so it's not, it's not that long ago. So it's from the gothic pop duo Gravel from Livingston. It's spelled G-R-A-V-E-L-L-E, but it is pronounced like the dirt, as they say on their social media. Monique Morel provides vocals and synths, while Kyle McNaughton completes the duo with vocals and guitar. So this is another release that was sent to us by Ian at Ravechild. He also sent us the Inkfields album that we released reviewed on the the last episode way back when so thanks to, to ian for sending this over as well it, it was slightly serendipitous at the time because i think it was around june that he sent it to us and i'd just seen gravel supporting the glasgow hardcore band moni jitchell and i fell in love with them there and then it's goth weirdo is playing weirdo goth pop so What's not to love about that? Quick shout out to Moni Jitchell, who were launching their album Unreal at the Banshee Labyrinth. And I mean, they they are just a loud as fuck hardcore band. There's a tiny basement stage in Banshee Labyrinth and they just filled the room with a punishing whirlwind of noise. Um, <laughs> even, I mean, even the sound check was heavy as fuck. Like it was outrageous. And they only played for about 15 minutes, but um, that was fine for uh, their style of crushing hardcore. And even the, the guitarist's 12 string couldn't take much more because it was missing half of its strings by the end of their set. So that was a great gig, but it was one that, that did finally convince me to invest in some proper earplugs um, <laughs> because it was fucking loud but uh, definitely an album to check out for, for hardcore fans so Gravel obviously supported Moni Jitchell at that show this EP is roughly 18 minutes long so I, th- I imagine they played most of it at that gig I was particularly drawn to their look um, which is very dark and very gothic and they reminded me a bit of the band Zetra who I saw support Unto Others a few years ago Zetra I've mentioned a couple of times before I think and they're, they're a bit more sort of black metal mixed with pop whereas Gravel are kind of more goth industrial and punk mixed with pop I suppose there was worth mentioning there was a, a short film that, that dropped simultaneously with this um, yeah which basically acts like an extended music video for the EP. Very much a grainy horror film with a mysterious videotape, an old CRT TV playing static in the woods. There's vampirism, there's sensual scenes on the beach. There's a section where the band are just performing their songs. And it's, yeah, it's a really nice combined to the EP and and very stylized. What's your thoughts on this then, Grant? Yeah, I loved it. Like, absolutely loved it. So, and I also had the pleasure of seeing them in the Pintland oh. Punt. So they were supporting Man on Man. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. so I got to see Gravel and I got to see Clit Drop as well. So Gravel was on first, then it was Clit Drop, then it was Man on Man. So, yeah, it was a pretty pretty good night. I you know, watched watched the video as, as well as kind of listening to the music. And in the press release, they described, they described their sound as... A fusion of pounding industrial synths, piercing guitar and dueling vocals. They exist to dominate the audience into emotional catharsis. And I would say that's a pretty apt description <laughs> um, for, for the songs. And, and, you know, watching the film, you definitely get that. Um, the first track, Into the Fog, really hits the ground running with a doom leading pulsating synth beat. Their vocals are kind of meshed throughout the course of the song, which makes for some really big and powerful moments, particularly the kind of one minute mark with the introduction of this big almost orchestral horror organ element which is really quite unnerving which when watched alongside the video especially when you're kind of watching alongside the video rather the vocals peak about the kind of two minute mark and that vocal refrain of don't let it wash me away is so evocative it's just the outro is absolutely crushing like it's just a great first track yeah, it's like it's like this terrifying kind of eighties horror soundtrack by the end of it, isn't it? It's it's so cool. And uh, I, remember, I remember being at the gig and seeing the, the guitarist and thinking that that's what Noel Fielding would look like if he were trying to be menacing. And it's like it, he had that kind of look on his face and like, holy shit! <laughs> Aye, 
Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, there's definitely a kind of theatric element to their performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which, you know, it works well. It worked well in Pint on Pun. I mean, that's a wee kind of basement. Uh, well, same with Banshee Lambert. It's, you know, I don't know how many people you can fit in in the room I was in, but there was a bit where he came out into the crowd and sort of sort of stared at everyone and I was I was Lost playing his guitar. I was, I was genuinely intimidated. Yeah. Aye. Aye. He was kinda uh, walking about at the once he'd finished the gig, he kinda was walking about and I was a bit like, Oh <laughs> I don't know how to approach this guy. Or whether I should approach this guy, I wasn't too sure. You know what I mean? Because you want to say that was great by the way, but I wasn't too sure if I could or not. Certainly, Monique Morrill, I remember when she was kind of delivering her vocals, she just kind of stared out into the crowd, and it is, it is quite unnerving. The second track on the EP, Forever, is a foot-stomping banger of a track. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, you know, I've kind of written that it's kind of guaranteed to be a floor filler. Kyle's modulated vocals give it a proper alt-rock 80s vibe. The chorus was kind of huge and hooky as fuck. I don't know if you would agree with this. You're obviously a kind of bigger fan of theirs than than I was, but for my money, it reminded me of kind of Crystal Castles. Do you agree with that? There, there, there are the next track, Rusted Flowers, reminds me a bit more of Crystal Callus, eh, Castles or Alice Class. But yeah, absolutely, there's definitely Crystal Castles in there. But certainly, when I've written that down, it's for the it's more for the next track because it's a bit sort of a bit colder i think um mm. but i agree with you like forever is is an absolute banger i've written that it's it's an absolute hit i think it's just uh, you know it's just a really great pop song like yeah it, it yeah it's like i love the 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 lyrics like the opening line shake the ice off from my bones the frost is setting i just love how goth that is and like then you've got that kind of stomping dance beat throughout and then a huge chorus with the line, I don't want to live forever. All I want is to be remembered by you. Like, it's just, I just, I, I don't know. I just love singing along to that. It's so, so good. So what was, what was your thoughts on Rusted Flowers, the, the third track? So, yeah, I just mentioned that it's got kind of these cold synths and overdriven guitars and that, like I said, it's reminiscent of Crystal Car- Castles or Alice Glass. It, show, it really shows off um, Monique's vocals. And there's a bit of a melody in there reminding me of Linkin Park's In The End. And then towards the, the final third of it, it just goes full on electronic dance music. And yeah, love love the way that track ends. Yeah, yeah. What was your thoughts on Blinded? Um, so... <laughs> So I said, "Blinded" opens like a demented pop song, like a cursed Rick Astley. It's my but second mention of Rick Astley. Second time you've mentioned old Rick Astley. I think it's because I'd seen seen him on at the same time. I'd, no, I'd I'd watched his set at Glastonbury for some reason. I'd been watching some of the stuff from Glastonbury, and I just happened to watch his set live. So I think that must have been on my mind <laughs> after seeing his set. Because I'm not a fan of Rick Astley, so I don't really know why why else I would be kind of bringing him up so often. But anyway, it's got you know stabbing punk guitars that come in here and there, which isn't like Rick Astley. <laughs> Lots of electronics and synths, another great chorus this time with Kyle singing, moody, heavy, really great lines uh, like "I'm blinded by the light, so leave me to decay." Oh, and there's a great sort of corn style guitar part in the final third as well. Yeah, yeah. While I Sleep, Morel's vocals kind of at the kind of forefront of this track. Those kind of wistful vocals reminded me of Jack of Jill. Do you remember them? No, not really. No. no. They were kind of you probably going to lump them in with like Smashing Pumpkins way back in the day. Kind of like nineties, early noughties. I was quite a big fan of them, like Strawberry Gashes, and I think that was what, like one of their biggest tracks. So, yeah, it, it reminded me of them. So for, for that reason, I, I really enjoyed this. I got some Evanescence vibes even there. Yeah, well, um, they they would be the same elk. Yeah. yeah, and there's a bit of a sort of black gaze kind of aesthetic in there as well. I have said it's probably my least favorite song on the EP, but you know, it's. 
the least favourite song on a really great EP. Yeah. With that in mind, Ben, what what did you what did you give it? I'm I'm basically just fully in love with this band. I love their aesthetic. I love how they fuse alternative music with 80s pop and the visuals that go along with the album are spot on as well. I've given it a 9 out of 10. But I will say that track 2, Forever, is a, a 10 out of 10 for me. Just yeah, yeah. an absolute 10 out of 10 banger. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a flawless track. Absolute yeah. flawless track. Yeah, I think I think 9 nine's a good, good rating. Good stuff. Okay, so that was Restless Dreams by uh, what's that? forgot what they're called Gravel Gravel <laughs> well, your, your EP is 9 out of 10 and I, and I really love your band I can't remember what you're called uh, Wrestle Streams by Gravel here we are Finish. It's finished.